2012, I started off in steampunk, and that it 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 raised my awareness of what the possibilities between antiques and art and creativity could have been. I never never knew what it was called, but I was always interested in it, and um and you'll hear that from a lot of people. It's just like hey. You know, I, I, I love what this is, but I never knew what to call it. And I, I found out it was steampunk and it made sense to me at that point. And so from steampunk, I started doing, you know, steampunk like work, using copper and stuff like that and adding gears to it. And, um, and then I started developing my own style where I didn't add gears to it just for the sake of adding gears to it to adhere to a steampunk um, aesthetic. I started doing things from found objects more than, than trying to make it look like a steampunk thing. So in turn, I decided to start calling what I do found punk because it's more found object artwork. It's more, you know, more towards uh, modern usage and, and stuff like that to be able to bring an aesthetic to something that's every day and make it look interesting and a little artistic while while at the same time giving you what you need as far as maybe it's a lamp or maybe it's a cup holder or a pen holder or something like that um so that's where found punk came from it it, it was basically steampunk without having to adhere to a steampunk aesthetic and uh i think that's that's pretty much where I like to keep my work. I don't want to add gears to it just for the sake of adding gears to something. Anybody can do that. I don't use plastic. I use wood, metal, copper, real material. Everybody has their different styles of working, but with me, if I have to make something fit or work and have to find a different way of doing it other than finding a piece of plastic to do it, then that's, that's more exciting to me. I, I don't want to add things to it that don't necessarily need to be there or aesthetically wouldn't look like it's, it, it should be there. And that's, a, that's basically found punk, found object artwork for everyday use.